The bail application for the two accused entered the second day with both Amshelelo and Nayoma taking the stand in their defense during the proceedings. They claimed to have been fighting for the economic freedom of the people. Many still turned up in support at the court, with some sharing the sentiments of the accused. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Anokutegene, <laughs> A affirmative repositioning movement leader Jopam Panda addressing the crowd at the Katutura Magistrate Court said that New Yoma and Amshelelo are sacrificing their freedom to address the plight of those facing poverty and unemployment. Michael and D are now giving testimonies there. So they, what is basically happening, they are not only talking about themselves, and this is also important for, you to, for me to update you, they are not only talking about themselves in order for them to get out, they are talking about your struggle. They are telling the, the, the magistrate and society and so that things can be as a matter of record. They are tell, telling people about your struggle, that you have to you sell these things to feed your families, that some of you are retrenched, some of you are jobless. So it's not just about them talking about themselves, they are also advancing the struggle of, the, of, of your suffering. So you, you, your struggle has also been advanced inside the court, the same way you are advancing the struggle here, with med as if they are made walking around the street. He's talking about raising the necessary consciousness, yeah? be it a Chinatown. So the characterization is that it, what was happening in Chinatown is to raise the necessary consciousness so that society can begin talking about it. The politicians are now talking about it. They are faint issues. It's also about what the workers are being paid there in Chinatown. It's also about the fact that you must go find alternative accommodation, but the Chinese are sleeping in, their, so in the same places. What they do, the, the bed is there. So they don't pay rent double for the businesses and the accommodation because they are in the same place. Now, if you want to sleep at the same place where you work, it will be the police that will come and evict you. You understand? So the Chinese are living a better life compared to Namibians in your own country. So those are the arguments that D. And, and, and Michael are advancing there on the stage. They face several charges of instigating public violence and assault through threat. This comes after Amshelelo attempted to close down businesses at Chinatown and the following day, demonstrations were held at the industrial park against his arrest. The bail hearing for the two will continue tomorrow.